This is the Army Today, a daily feature from around the globe. 20 wounded warriors are among over 200 disabled athletes who will represent the U.S. in the 2012 Paralympic Games in London. Chief of Paralympics for the U.S. Olympic Committee, Charlie Hubner, says there's a great need in this country for programs for persons with disabilities. The U.S. Olympic Committee is very invested in developing programs at the community level for persons with physical disabilities to participate in sport. And that could be with your friends, with your family, um, to be physically active because we know the impact of physical activity on persons with physical disabilities. Eleven soldiers will participate in events in archery, cycling, shooting, sitting volleyball, soccer seven aside, and track and field. There are some unique sports to the Paralympic, but the most part, the, uh, the Paralympic Games are about elite sport and elite competition for athletes with physical disabilities. A swimmer since his youth, Navy bomb diffuser Lieutenant Brad Snyder, who lost his eyesight in an IED explosion in Afghanistan, will compete in swimming at the Paralympics. It means a lot to me to, to represent my, my fellow wounded warriors and, and go out and prove that there are no barriers uh, that exists through these injuries. We can get out and we can we can have the success that we want to have and we can still represent uh, our great country even though it's it's not on the battlefield. Lieutenant Snyder who won gold at this year's Warrior Games in the men's 1500 meter run visually impaired category says the Paralympics is a great avenue for athletes who are faced with adversity to experience success. The games will be streamed live on Paralympics.org from August 29th to September 9th. Here he comes. Has Peacock got enough to hold him off? And he does. That's the Army Today. 